Hello, uh, this is part, I think, 9 now, or 10. Uh, so, I think we are done with the set light. We're just going to maybe do add more fe features to it later. But uh, right now, I want to do some landscaping and uh, see how we are going to set up this composition. Uh, so, yeah, we can continue with uh, the terrain and uh, then we can maybe come back later to the set light. So, I'm just going to split this and uh, have my outliner here so that I can see the different objects that I have in that I have in my scene and uh, so I'll just box select this add the add the entire set light into its own set light uh, collection that way if I don't want to see it I can just so this can also let's see let's see what we have here it's going to mark this into its own into the same object. Okay, so I don't like that uh, the be the bevel is also being added to this. So let me just keep it as a single as a separate objects and just call it um, object. So. Let's hide that for, for a second and uh, let's start working on the terrain. So I'm just going to add a plane, turn on my keys here, scale it up and uh, let me set up my camera here. I don't have a camera in here so let me just add it there. that up I think we can bring back the set lights okay we have my scene is too big it seems so bring the things closer and uh, move everything above the the, the x-axis that axis so this is what we want this is what we have uh, the satellite is going to be it's going to have a larger base than this but uh, yeah, I just want to see how. so I can make a small river here so let me just subdivide this a few times and then uh, we can go to scalp mode sculpting mode and start blocking out this so I'm going to type turn on our dino to topo so that I can brush in uh, uh, some details here. So let me turn off uh, the mirror. So we want uh, the river to flow somewhere around here. So let me just hold on control so that I can push those vertices in. So our river is going to flow something like that. And I will have some other small tributes uh, that uh, go off like that. Okay, now then I can increase the size of my brush. And I just br uh, bring these these hills just a bit. I will reduce the strength as well. So uh, let me just just split this so that I can see. How this looks let's put here my shader how this looks in uh, camera view uh, not bad not bad think can just smoothen this up a bit down a bit maybe push these vertices up, down as well something like that So now let's go to Dino and uh, reduce this, the size detail, something like, let's see, 6. Uh, that should give us more detail. You can see there, so now I can start drawing, drawing in 
more details in the river so I'll just use the brush here again uh, to make this more deep but just making sure that I'm following uh, the original the, the original uh, path we, we, we had for the river I'm not being super accurate here or super detailed here because remember you're going to add uh, grass over this and uh, yeah something like that and uh, you don't want to be super detailed at the beginning uh, because you don't know what you want to, what you might want to change later can also use this uh, crease brush uh, to create more detailed uh, creases and uh, I'm focusing mostly where I, I see that uh, the camera will be uh, seeing in our scene so I'm not spending too much time in areas where the camera won't be seeing <coughs> 